Well, a bill to allow sports betting in Tennessee is being reworked with a lot of input from the Lee administration. Local 24 News reporter Chris Bungard takes a look at the changes from our exclusive Tennessee State Capitol newsroom. It was scheduled as the first discussion of the sports betting bill up here today, but that will have to wait at least a week. So we're looking at what type of vehicle would we use to manage uh, sports betting. That means a series of amendments are being prepared for a bill that would still legalize sports betting in Tennessee. But how big, what kind of way it's done, and how much tax might be charged on wagers are some of what's being reevaluated. Representative Rick Staples of Knoxville filed the original measure as House Bill Number 1 in an effort to keep sports bettors from flocking across borders to neighboring states. We're trying to capture dollars instead of dollars leaving the state of Tennessee. Uh, you always have people illegally betting. We're trying to make it legal and most importantly, get dollars for locals to take advantage of for their needs. Which would mean money from a sports wager tax would go back to local governments for things like infrastructure. We're doing really good here. Governor Bill Lee, who won a woodcutting contest as part of Ag Day on Tennessee's Capitol Hill, was wary of sports betting on the campaign trail, but his administration is talking with sports betting supporters on ways to improve the legislation. That comes as key players for both the House and the Senate say privately that a sports betting bill will pass this year in Tennessee. The form, though, is far from certain. Covering the Capitol, Chris Bungard, Local 24 News.